long ago. The barrier has been sealed, child. If you climb that mountain, you will be trapped underground with the monsters who may never return. Go tell the others. Do not climb the mountain. There are monsters inside. But if you enter, you will never escape. Stay away from the mountains. There are terrible monsters inside that will keep you trapped forever. You mustn't climb the mountain. If you do, you can't return. The terrible monsters that live inside it will trap you. And no one ever not. comes. They get eaten by monsters. No way. Monsters they are. are they all live under the same mountain. You're making it up. No, that's what they told me. Monsters are not. Nobody comes back from Mount Ebot. No one ever returns. Mom! Mom, I'm bored. I saw something really cool down the other road. I want to explore. Mom! Please, Mom. Mother. Azriel, please. Your father and I are working now. We don't have time to go exploring with you. You don't have to come. I'll be fine on my own. I promise. There are very old and dangerous puzzles down that path. I won't touch them when I see a puzzle. I'll turn back. I just want to look around a little. It won't be long. I promise. Azriel, please hush. I wasn't even going to go that far anyway. I know, dear. Go play. Just be careful, alright? Thanks, Mom. I'll be real quick. You don't need to worry about me. <sighs> Hi. <gasps> Help. Someone. <laughs> Fallen down, haven't you? Is someone there? Are you okay? Yeah. Here, get up. Oh, I think I hit my head. I'm Chara. Chara, huh? That's a nice name. Careful. Watch your step. My parents are up ahead, so they'll be able to help. They shouldn't be too far. Hey, who's that for? G get back! You, you, stay away from me! D -d -d Don't touch me, you, you thing, you m monster! Wait, calm, calm down. I'm only trying to help you. Don't you dare say another word. Stay back, or I'll cut you. Oh, I will. Oof. Are you okay? How? 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 You hit your head, didn't you? You need to be careful. Please, let me help. My parents are here somewhere. They'll know exactly what to do. Stay away from me. I don't want your help, Freak. But... Azrael... Azrael. Azrael, there you are. We heard a... <gasps> uh. <sighs> Azriel, I hope you are not bothering that human. They need time to recover. Let them rest, dear. Sorry to bother you. I'll just... Wait. Huh? It's okay. You can stay. Really? You don't want me to... Leave you alone? Mm -hmm. uh. Uh. So... So you're, you're a, a monster. Human? Mm. <laughs> wow. Well. Did you really live on the surface? Yeah, and you're... Y you're... You're real? I didn't hit my head and now I'm just seeing things? Yep, I'm real. Oh gosh, monsters are real. I'm talking to a real monster. Excuse me, you aren't talking to just any monster. 
You're talking to the prince of all monsters. No. Yes. No. Yes. You're lying. It's true. I'm dead. You're alive. Hmm. And if this is your room, we're in the royal palace? Yeah. Yeah, right. This is the most boring palace I've ever seen. What come on? Do you live in a palace? Well, no. Then you don't know a thing. You haven't even seen outside of my room yet, anyways. <sighs> Fine. So what do I have to call you? Your Majesty or something? No, no. Just call me Azrael. I was just, uh, showing off. Anyways, um, can I ask some questions now? Hmm? So... What's it like on the surface? Do you really get to see the sun? How big is it? Is it warm? Is it everywhere? There's only a few places you can see sunlight from here. Oh, 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 and how much space is there on the surface? Do you have a lot of room to run around? Are the buildings all flat instead of tall because there's so much room? And on, what about cars? I heard you have cars. I saw some pictures too. Do you have a car? Do you have to get to drive it around in the open for a long time? Because there's so much room to do that. That's really cool. I think it's so cool that you have come from the surface. Does every single person have a car? It's a really big house. And how many people are there anyways? Are there more people up there than down here? Do they all watch anime? We get a lot of weird comments and cartoons. I fall down into the dump here. I'll show you sometimes. It's really cool. I think you'd like it. Anyways, next question. Do you? Wait. Slow down. Can you maybe ask one thing at a time? Right. Sorry. Sorry. One at a time. Um. What kind of magic do you use? Magic? Yeah, don't humans use magic? Monsters do? Humans don't use magic? No? Well, some people do. But that's not really magic. How do you live? I don't know. What do you even use magic for? Everything! We use everything with magic. We cook, we clean, all our technology is powered by it, our food is magic, even our bodies are magic. What are all you, what are you made of if it's not magic? I don't know, meat and bones? Don't touch me. Oh, okay, um, uh, sorry. Sorry, I can leave if you want. No. No, I have questions now. You said you were made of magic. So you aren't real then? Not real? I'm real. I can prove it. Just touch me. I'll take your word on it. Next question. What are these? Are they supposed to be bandages or something? I thought you hit your head. Mom and Dad said they would make you feel better. You know actually know what they're for. No, no, not really. Azru! Azru, what did I tell you? Uh, <sighs> I am terribly sorry about him. He wasn't bothering you too much, was he? No, he didn't bother me at all. That's a relief. Azru, I'm sure they need some time to themselves. Come help me with dinner. Before we go, are you feeling all right, my child? Do you need anything? Huh? No, I'm fine. But I do have one question. Is dinner... me? <laughs> of course not. Of course not. What is happening? Where am I? Our plan failed. So why am I awake? Mm -hmm. oh. What is that? Uh, it's alive? Wait, is that a human? Where is it? Going. <sighs> Are you hurt, my child? I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. Mom? Mom? Come, let me Mom, find you. Mom, you're here. I never thought I'd be so happy to see you. I'm so confused. Why are we in the ruins? Mom, 
this way. Hey, where are you going? Mom? Toriel? Do you... not hear me? Please adjust yourself to the side of puzzles. You really can't see me. Can you see me? Uh. Can you read that? Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, forced ones, both walk, not the middle road. Frisk, proceed to the next room? Keep an eye on them, Chara. They're probably super confused. Frisk, I think you should try to keep up with that nice lady. Frisk, act. Attempt to touch Chara. Do I have to? Hmm. Would you stop that? It's freaking me out. Oh no, what are you doing now? <laughs> Can we follow Mom now? Hmm. Chara, I know this is personal, but... Why did you want to die? You tried killing yourself by falling down, and then your plan required you dying. Chara, if it's okay, let us know so we can help you. What's the point? Why does it matter anymore? Nothing is going to change the fact that I'm already dead. Can Frisk not read, or is the writing underground a different language? I don't know if they can read, but the writing down here is a little different from the surface. They haven't told me to stop reading things, so I'm gonna keep doing it, whether they like it or not. It says, stay on the path. Chara, can Frisk see you? Or anything at all? Well, they aren't running into walls or anything. And they can do Mom's puzzles just fine. Say, Chara, I'm pretty sure that the human needs your help. So sorry Hey, wait a second. <laughs> Try this one instead. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> my child... Were your eyes always red like that? My whole family has red eyes. Why wouldn't I? Maybe because you are adopted? Uh, it's called genetics. Ever heard of it? That doesn't make any sense, though. How did two goats have a human child? Yeah, but, but they are goat people. Genetics. You are a human. Only matter. Never mind. They adopted me. I don't know what genetics are. Everyone, stop talking about their eyes. Just let them have this. Okay, never mind the eye thing. Are you any way else like your folks? We're all monsters, in our own way. So, how did the battle against the training dummy go? Here in the underground, monsters may try to attack you. When that happens, you will enter a fight. Simply strike up a friendly conversation until I come to help you. Fight? Other monsters never used to attack me unless I started it. Practice talking with the training mm -hmm. dummy. Hi! You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel looks happy with you. The next room awaits. What the heck was that? Chara, why did you start fights with monsters? They asked for it. Chara, don't you think monsters never started a fight with you because they were afraid of you? Does Chara like puns? What if you wore cool clothes instead of nerd clothes, sweater nerd? Call me when you find the ghost clothing store, you latest piece of garbage. Chara, did you experience any sort of afterlife, or did you just simply not feel anything at all after you died? Do you even know how much time has passed? Chara, what's the last thing you remember? What's the last thing you remember before you woke up in the ruins? After I died, all I can remember is going to the surface to kill some humans. But Azriel stopped me and took us back. Then I woke up like this, like no time had passed at all. Mom looks just like she did the last time I saw her. She acts the same too. 
I don't think I have been gone long. I guess Mom didn't miss me so much after all. I wonder where Dad and Azriel are. I'm sure things will start to make more sense once they show up. Chara, you don't hear anyone else, do you? It's just you and Frisk, right? Mom's with us too, dummy. Behind you? Oh, that's just Dr. Gaster. I don't know what happened to put him in such a sorry state. But he is the one who brings me all of your messages. Hey, Chara, what's the limit for how far you can go from Frisk? What happens if you go too far? Chara, how many... How far away can you wander away from the human? Or are you just following the human and your mom for now? You must walk to the end of this room on your own. Please forgive me. Let's find out. <laughs> that flower, Listen, Chara, did you recognize him, Chara? If not, you should take a closer look next time you see him. They're going to need your what do you help think of that flower survive. back there? But in the meantime, Does the flower the tall one remind you of anyone, Chara? What is it with you people and flowers? I get it. I ate a bunch of flowers and died. I know. I was there. I must go do something. Wait for me here. Mm -hmm. What? Take the cell phone. What? You're leaving us here? Is that my old cell phone? Be Mom, good. You cannot leave us here. There's nothing to do here. What are you doing? Take us home first. So, Char, how has coming to terms being sort of a ghost been doing? Chara, how's the whole being alive again going for you? Chara, how does it feel to be back? I wish I was still dead in the ground. Hey, Chara, you ate flowers and died, right? Did you get the idea to do that from when you and Azrael almost killed Asgore that way? Yep. What a horribly thought out plan that was. Can or Frisk can the human talk to you? Speak and can Frisk talk? Way. Char, did she give Frisk a cell phone? Did you give Frisk hey, a cell phone? Frank, call Should you call dead. her? Call her mom. Frisk, cell phone. Call her mom. Are you calling her? I want to hear too. Call her mom? Oh, oh. Would that make you happy? Do you call me... Mother? How did you do that? Frisk, call Toriel sell, and flirt. flirt. Frisk, Frisk, flirt with Toriel. Frisk, Frisk call, call Toriel, Toriel and then flirt with her. Flirt? That is my mother! Chara, do you regret anything? Like, I don't know. Choosing a less painful way to die? Oh yeah. There are loads of other ways I could have done it. I had a perfectly good night. I should have just stabbed myself and finished it quicker. But all those things were a lot more conspicuous and could mess up our plan. Azrael did really well about keeping that secret. Stop it's that. Right. You big crybaby. You should be smiling. You're going to, to be free. Char, can you fly or defy gravity? I assume you can, because if you couldn't, you'd fall through the ground. So can you fly? Neat. Frisk, so explore the ruins. How long was Frisk, it until you two act. got bored of waiting Rebel for your against mom society to leave the room and also Chara's take more candy than you're allowed to. Leave the room and see what she else just is here. left you there. I'm sure the room there are some well, friendly monsters. Way. Don't you, Chara? Around willing Come to help on, you. Come on, she didn't abandon you. You can explore a bit while you're waiting for us. It's been a while since mom left. Like an hour. What are you going to do now? Calling won't do anything. That dog still got her phone. <laughs> Maybe she's not coming back. What are you gonna do then? <laughs> Maybe something happened to her. Either way, you'll be waiting here forever. You disobeyed mom. Get 
give us all your beauty tips. All you gotta do is shove a bunch of flowers in your mouth and eat them. Soon you will gain a dull, sickly glow. If you want to go one step further, you shove even more flowers in your mouth and start glowing for real. Are you the one that gives options in a fight, Chara? This monster's too sensitive to fight. Terrorize. Counsel. I provide some suggestions. Um, I think they're asking about the flower Frisk was talking to before Toriel saved them. I don't think you really got a good look at it, though. I saw Mom burning a flower to a crisp, if that's what you mean. Makes you wonder why your mom is sucking fireballs at the flowers you specifically asked to see before you died, though. I don't care. Those flowers can all burn. I just use them as an excuse for Azrin to take us across the barrier. Mom is doing a public service by getting rid of them. You were the one who called it Butts Pie, weren't you? You sneaky weirdo. Because it tastes like butts. Chara, what do you, um... What does Chara so, prefer? Chara butterscotch or butterscotch? Or butterscotch. Cinnamon? Chara, what is your favorite type of chocolate? Anything but dark chocolate. Frisk, Frisk. take some candy. Take the, the monster candy. candy. Take as much as you can. I need all. to know what happened. Frisk, 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 Frisk take all, all the monster candy. Chara. <sighs> Look at what you've done. I love you, Chara and Frisk. Can I get some advice for the future? Don't kill yourself by eating a bunch of flowers. Three out of ten stars. It gets the job done, but it is not a fun time. And the results are... questionable. Chara, are you in here? I was not sure, so I thought I should ask. Would you rather wear a suit or dress to... A dress? Mom, ew! No, I would never wear a dress like some dumb girl. That's so stupid. Excuse me? Nobody respects you when you're wearing a dress. They just make fun of you, call you stupid names. Is that so? May I ask you a question, Chara? Who is in charge of the whole underground? Who makes the rules and keeps everything in order? Dad? We all know who really does the hard work here. Now, who is respected by everyone in the underground? You. Then I'm some dumb girl. Of course not. But I wear dresses all the time, my child. Yes, but... And have you ever heard anyone call me names? No. Everyone's too scared of you. No, no. Everyone respects me. They respect you, too. Even if you were to wear a dress like me, perhaps you need to think a little longer about what is really wrong with dresses. You do not have to wear a dress if you do not want to. But please consider it. If I learn to walk in heels, I can attach knives to them and stab people with my feet. Talk to that frog there, Ribbit. Talk to the frog. Ribbit, Ribbit. Uh-huh. You don't understand, do you? Ribbit, Ribbit, excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way, or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Okay, cool. But Chara with Bayonetta heels? This small child's small heart can't take how absolutely incredible these are. Who needs poisonous flowers when the revelation of such amazing heels has already killed you? And suddenly, Bayonetta was Chara's new idol. Hey, so how old are you, Chara? How old are you? How old is anyway, Frisk compared kid? to you? Just or make sure Frisk keeps a spider you donut. You died. Chara, you're quite a bit taller than how Frisk. How old are you? How old are you? Or that kid. I'm twelve. Eleven. Eight. So what are with these glowy yellow things that fill the little guy with determination, Chara? Inspect the shiny sparkling Frisk. sparkle thing the flowers thing. over there. Playfully creaking through the leaves fill you with determination. It's just a safe point. They're all over the underground. How old was Azrael then? He's ten. He was ten. I don't know if he still is. It depends on how long it has been. Don't you wear anything else besides striped shirts? How else will everyone know I'm a kid? You and Azrael have matching shirts? What a couple of dweebs. How else will everyone know we're siblings? Insert Azrael. 
How's Frisk doing getting through the ruins? Ah. Huh? They're fine. Chara, why are your cheeks so pink? It's a skin condition. Chara, did you eat the flowers as they were, or did you prepare a dish or something? Oh boy, death pie. Of course we did. We made another pie just like we did for Dad. I would never shove a ton of flowers in my mouth like some animal. Chara seems tired of Frisk's aimless shenanigans. What a meaningful conversation. When Frisk took the monster candy from the ruins, you mentioned that it has distinct non-licorice flavor, and then again after they ate it that it has very un-licorice-like. Why did you have the need to specify that? Do you feel personally threatened by licorice? I'm threatened by licorice and explicit descriptions. Licorice that definitely tastes like licorice is my worst nightmare. Ring, ring. She's calling again. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Uh, this better not be going where I think it is. Okay, let's go. Ring, ring. You would not turn up your nose if- Oh gosh, no! Chara, do you have any other ghostly powers aside from floating? I see and know a lot more things than I should. Vegetoid, attack six, defense six, Chara, HP, HP. So Chara, how many times has that kid you're stuck with cried so far? <sighs> hmm, not once. So is Frisk doing all right? Oh no, <laughs> game over. You cannot give up just yet. This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? No? You gotta. Huh. Here comes Napsabluk. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Napsabluk is wishing they weren't here. You should definitely... Wait, what? Cheer? Can they hear me? Cheer, cheer. Oh, I... Napsablook wants to show you something. Cheer. Let me just... I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met someone nice. Oh, I should get out of your way. Huh? <laughs> So wait, if they're eight, then why do you give them so many options to flirt? Especially with Goat Mom. They do all of that on their own. Please do anything except flirt. Did you miss it? Spider Bake Sale down and to the right. Come eat foods made by spiders for spiders of spiders. Let's not- Hey! Yuck! You put 7G in the web? Some spiders crawled down and gave you donut. <laughs> Might be a little early to ask this, but... Chara, how do you and Frisk feel about spiders? Spiders are awful. I hate spiders. Why would anyone buy anything from them? Why did this kid give them all of our gold? Hey, Chara, would you be willing to help Frisk with the puzzles if they didn't understand them? Hey, your art style's pretty good, and I already love this blog. Huh? You noticed there was a blue switch behind the top pillar. Ugh. If you had to guess, where do you think Azrael and Asgore are? They're probably at home playing catch or something silly like that. Waiting for mom to come back. I wonder what she's doing here. I don't remember her spending a lot of time in the ruins before. Huh? Hey, Chara, have you guys gotten to the spike puzzle yet? Which spike puzzle? They all have spikes! Have the ruins changed much since you were last year? The ruins look the same as they ever did. With a little more junk laying around than usual. Oh, how did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? I should have not left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh... Well, I 
suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. The ruins look entirely different. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. What is all this? Surprise! I baked you butterscotch cinnamon pie to celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. Living here? Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Mom? Hmm? Is something burning? Oh, make yourself at home! Mom! Mom, hold on! Don't! What the heck is this? This is home, not home. Where are Dad and Azriel? Are any particular memories coming up for you, Chara, when Toriel takes you guys home and see your old room? This is not my home, and this is not my room. Chara, this is not my beautiful home. This is not my beautiful mom. Letting the days go by. So, Chara, you're at Toriel's house soon, right? So, what's it like? There is something very weird going on here. What the heck is going on here? Nothing makes any sense! I know you're not gonna get it because you don't know anything, but this is wrong! This is all wrong! Mom's living here in this house that's practically identical to our home and acting like you're our kid now? Why is she doing that? Where the heck are the others? Where are Dad and Asriel? I demand an explanation. I demand... Well, home might not be home, but you should at least check the place out for familiar objects. You must be able to search the place while the kid is sleeping, right? I can only look around this room while the kid's here. Everything is so weird. All these old toys look like they've never been played with. Empty dresser, all these shoes. No one else in my family even wears shoes. So, Charles, are you okay? <gasps> Chara, do you know where Azrael is? Do you know what happened during your after he took us back underground, I don't remember a thing. I'm not sure I want to know exactly what happened anymore. Are you Char, okay? what's your mom like, I don't know. I don't but know. I Azrael, don't know. I 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 don't know. Something's definitely up. Maybe you should sleep on it, Chara. Um, we can go Steven sleep. I know we saw Naps would pretend to, but... No, but I can sit down to think for a while. How would you describe the relationship between Azro and yourself? And no, I do not mean siblings. I mean, were you close? Did he mean a lot to you? Yeah, he was my best friend. And he was the first and only friend I ever had. Well, you knew one of the side effects to the flowers was death. That's obvious, but what about its side effects before death? Everything from blisters to... Well, other fluids. Why choose an agonizing demise rather than a quick and painless one? Do you think that anybody other than you and Azrael ever found out how you were actually planning on freeing the monsters rather than looking for flowers when you crossed the barrier? If anyone was ever going to spill the big plan, it would have been Azrael. Lucky for us, we didn't have many other friends for him to accidentally tell. And if Mom or Dad knew, they would have stopped us for sure. It took me forever to come up with a flawless plan. I had already been thinking for a while about how to set everyone free, but there was no way I could get seven human souls unless a bunch of other humans just happened to fall down. Then one day, in one of Mom's classes, it hit me. I had a human soul. If I could just get another monster to work with me, we could cross through the barrier ourselves and get the other souls we needed on our own. And I knew exactly which souls to take. I knew the perfect monster too, but I didn't tell him just yet. I still needed some way to extract my soul from my body, and a good excuse to go to the surface afterwards. 
If anyone found out that we were going to go kill a bunch of humans, we would have been stopped for sure, even if it was for the sake of freeing everyone underground. I had to make everything look like a horrible accident, completely unsuspicious to everyone. And then we accidentally poisoned Dad. It was perfect. It was so perfect that I nearly blew the whole secret. No one would suspect a thing if I was poisoned. Not to mention my death would be so miserable and pathetic that they would do anything I asked without question. After that, I immediately set off to finish my plan and tie up every last loose end I could find. Then I was finally able to tell Azriel. He was reluctant at first, to say the least. But once I convinced him it was for the better for everyone, he agreed to help me. We were going to save everyone underground. And the entire plan went off exactly as I planned. Azura wasn't an amazing actor. Mom and Dad didn't suspect a single thing. Everything went perfectly until we reached the town. I was ready to fight, but I never considered that the one I would be fighting the most was Azriel. He wouldn't let me fight. He wouldn't attack any of them. He wouldn't even defend himself. He just took every single blow they hit us with them and stumbled back underground without a single soul. The plan I had been working on for ages. He ruined it, just like that. Chara, what do you think of your family? They loved me a lot. I guess I love them too. I was never used to others caring about me so much. Or believing in me so much. You are the future of humans and monsters. You are going to do great things. I don't know why, but... When others believe in you so much, you really don't want to let them down. You want to do anything you can do to make them proud of you. I don't think they are very proud of me anymore, though. Do you have any hard feelings towards Azrael for not going through with your plan? I guess it was kind of my fault. I should have known he wouldn't be able to commit to something as big as that. Huh. For Chara, if you could time travel and tell Azrael to... No matter what, give you control when you reach the town to get the human souls, would you do it? Hmm, what's the point? He wouldn't change his mind. He's too weak to kill anymore or see anyone being killed. Nothing would change what happened. Calm down, Chara. There's probably a perfectly good reason for this. Maybe this is some really elaborate prank or a dream or something. Yeah, I'll just wake up back at home in my own bed, in my own room. And Azura will be there with Mom and Dad. Everything will be just like before. Mom will probably make a which means this is all weird fever dream. And I'll be sick again when I wake up. No, this is a this is fine compared to going through being poisoned again. Chara, do you still have a soul? I assume what I am right now is like a manifestation of my soul. Or well it used to be my soul. Hey Chara, how'd you meet Gaster before all that messaging stuff like did he just appear from thin air and then goes, Sup, bro? Answer these questions for me. Or do you guys know each other personally from before? Love your comics. He's a royal scientist. Everybody knows who he is. Or at least he was the royal scientist. Chara, do you feel anything besides that kid pulling you? Sort of like gravity, however slight. I don't feel anything. I don't even feel the kid pulling me along. But I can't move farther away from them, even if I try. I don't even feel my feet on the floor, this bed I'm sitting on, but I don't really know why. But I feel a lot more comfortable when I keep myself grounded. Has Toriel tried to read any of those snail books to you before? I know every snail fact in the world. Chara, are you wearing pants underneath your shorts, or do you have really long socks? 
They're tight. Um? Oh, you're up. That's a butt's pie. <laughs> Butterscotch cinnamon pie. One slice. Huh. Gross. Hey, what's that plant over there in the hallway? You have seen this type of plant before, but do not know what it is called. Huh. Quick! While Toriel's occupied, snoop through her room for answers. I bet she's keeping a diary or a log of recent events somewhere. It's all... skeleton puns. Chara, when you were alive, could you use the save point? No. I saw them, but I didn't know they could... do... anything. This kid seems to be even more determined than me since he can actually use them. Sometimes I wonder if that kid is really listening to you. Seems like they just don't care sometimes. Toriel Small Chair. Its name is Cheriel. <laughs> Typha. A subterranean plant with round, oblong seed pods. More commonly known as a water sausage. Scandalous. Truly the most tsundere of plants. They don't listen to a single thing I have to say. Uh. Huh? Oh! It's a water sausage. <laughs> okay, so you can't get away from Fresk, but can you see what they can't? Like peeking through the wall they stand next to? New under renovations. Hmm. Ha! Oh. So, Chara, how is the human taking all this? Have you ever wondered what's going on in their head? It's you. They seem to be taking it fine. Or maybe not, I can't tell. Chara, has Frisk expressed any desire to leave the ruins? So, how do you feel about that, seeing as you had no choice but to follow them? Leaving here would mean learning more about what happened. I'd rather not. We're here with Mom safe from everything. Whatever's going on, I don't want to know anymore. Oh, you're up. I just wanted to let you know I'm very happy to have you living here. I want to show you all of my books in my favorite bug hunting spot. Oh, did you want something? When can I go home? What? what? This is your home now. Um... Why don't I tell you about this book I'm reading? It is called 1,000 Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure. How to exit the ruins. How about a... How about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails... Talk? Really? Slowly. Just kidding. Snails don't talk. Interesting. Yeah. How to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. Go explore the kitchen? Wait! Wait. She said to stay here. Let's... Um... Check out the kitchen instead. We haven't looked in there. Oh, man. <laughs> For some reason, there's a brand new chocolate bar in the she remembered. Are you going to eat that pie? The size of the pie intimidates you too much to eat it. Do you have any idea of how long you were gone? Maybe you should look for a calendar? It's from the year I came here. There's nothing for any other year either. This is weird. This is a bad idea. We should down here. Come on. We can still go back. We can't disobey. Mom. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am...
going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Huh? No. Wait. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. You leave the ruins. They. Asgore. Will kill you. Huh? I will be protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. What? Chara, leave. You know you can't live here. Oreo wants you to keep you here. Forever. Asgore will kill? No, that's wrong. No, he... Dad would never. I don't understand. No. No. Stop. No. Stop following her. Just do what she says. I don't want to go. Don't make me go. Let me stay. Stop it. Stop. I'm scared. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Please, just go back. Do what she says. Nothing I can do can stop them. You want to leave so badly. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. I just want to stay. I don't want to. Prove yourself. Huh? What? Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Toriel walks away. What? This isn't like her. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Ah! <laughs> Talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Talk. You tried to think of something to say again, but Toriel looks through you. <laughs> Talk. <laughs> Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution in this situation. Huh? Huh? Talk. I told you, talking won't do anything. Wait. Toriel is acting aloof. <laughs> they won't fight. So what will they do now? Spare. What are you doing? Attack or run away? What are you proving this way? Fight me or leave. Stop it. Stop looking at me that way. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs, now! I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <sighs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot say than a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down in there. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, Please do not come back. I hope you understand. Goodbye, my child. Oh. Bye. Bye, Mom. What 
is your opinion on the human so far? This kid is... weird. For a human. I've never met one that was so unwilling to hurt anybody. They're so nice and trusting to everyone, that it's kind of disgusting. But I'm stuck with them. Whether I want to or not, I have to go wherever they go, so I guess I'll have to see how far they can make it down here. And I guess... I'll find out exactly what's going on, too. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. A talking flower? Hee 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 hee. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anyone this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world and let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry. My little monarch, my plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> Here we go.